Hey, what's going on everyone? This is I Reviews back with another video and another 10 city tweaks compatible with iOS 11.3.1 and also iOS 11.4 beta 3, which right now is being signed and Electra works on it. So you can go ahead and jailbreak your device even if you're on iOS 11.4 beta 3 or if you're on iOS 11.4, iOS 11.4.1 or iOS 12, you can still downgrade as it's still being signed. So let's get started with the tweaks. Tint icon label is pretty cool. It allows you to change the color of the labels on the home screen. So just go to the settings of this tweak, enable it right there and you can go ahead and pick any color that you want. You can also enable the highlight tint and then select the color right there. Or if you want to just completely remove the labels from the home screen, just enable the switch right here. Respin your device and all the labels will be gone. Dope settings is a fun tweak for the settings app. So you can see right here what it does. It will actually change the names of the sections right here on the settings app. So for example, instead of having airplane mode, now you have no NSA mode. You have internet from thin air right there instead of Wi-Fi. So it's pretty awesome, it's pretty fun. Here we have also instead of general, we have actual settings you're looking for. So it's just a fun tweak, not really any functions here, but just a fun tweak to have on the settings app. Bar emoji is a very useful tweak. It will use the space right here below the keyboard and it will show you your most recent used emojis. So you will have six of them and you can easily type them directly from here. So it's really, really convenient having your recent emojis right there on that space that Apple uses for nothing. Battery percent X. What it does is that it will add the percentage of your battery right there on the status bar on the iPhone 10. With the iPhone 10, you only have the battery indicator right there. It won't show the actual percentage. It's way better having the percentage in number than having that icon of the battery, which of course won't ever tell you the exact percentage of battery that you have left. So this is really useful. Also, it has other functions as well. For example, you can tap that and hold to respring your device. You can see right here, you can easily respring your device using this tweak. Better CC 11 brings you a new way to customize your control center on iOS 11. So you can see here we have a different layout. So we have the toggles up here, the music controls right here in the middle and then in the bottom we have all the icons, we have the sliders here so you can change to different layouts and of course you can reposition the toggles and everything right here, the modules on the control center. By going to the settings of this tweak, you have here connectivity module settings and music module settings. So you can choose here different layouts for each of these sections. Cuttlefish, you know when you force touch on an icon to go to the 3D touch menu, the background will be blurred. Well, this tweak makes it even better. It will colorize that background based on the color of that app's icons. You can see right here we have green, right here we will have yellow. So based on the icon of the app, the background will have a nice tint using that color. So it's pretty, pretty awesome. The tweak doesn't have any settings to configure. Status folder. Normally when you open a folder on iOS, the status will be hidden. The status bar right here will be hidden. With this tweak installed, you go to a folder, you will still have the status bar right there. Easy Switcher X is a pretty cool tweak, very useful for the iPhone 10. You know, on iPhone 10 on iOS 11, you have to tap and hold a card here on the app switcher and then it will show you that minus sign and then you can go ahead and close the app. With this tweak installed, all you have to do is just swipe up the cards. Rocket for Instagram. This tweak will add a bunch of new features to the Instagram app. So for example, features like saving pictures. You can see here, I have a picture that I like, I tap there, I can go ahead and just save that picture to the camera roll of my device. It's as easy as that. Or for example, I can change the feed here on the home, sc on the home screen. Just go ahead and click grid layout. And now I have a grid layout instead of that list layout here on the feed on Instagram. So it's pretty awesome. It will add a bunch of new features to the Instagram app. And the last tweak for this video is called no beta alert. I really can't show it right now, but what it does is that it will stop 
the beta alert that you get when you're on a beta version and an official version is out. So right here, I have downgraded my iPhone 10 to iOS 11.4 beta 3, and it was constantly reminding me to update to the official version, but that tweak will remove that. So if you're on a beta version, install no beta alert and it will remove that pop-up. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the tweaks and the video. Go ahead and leave a like if you did. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys on the next one.